Hey guys, I wanted to do a product feature today. This is an item that I currently have for sale on my Amazon store. And out of the tens of thousands of books that I process each year, I wanted to pick out some of the better ones, some of the more interesting ones, some of the more obscure ones. And this one really stood out, so I wanted to talk about it today. Now this book is National Lampoon 1964 High School Yearbook with new material from PJ O'Rourke. This is the 39th reunion edition. Now, right off the bat, this book is really silly. I mean, it's supposed to be like a, a parody of uh, what a high school yearbook would be like in 1964. Um, I guess National Lampoon was like a magazine from the 70s, and I guess it kind of like, you know, became a little bit unpopular as time went on, and um, I guess it has like sort of like a core following of people who are real serious. Uh, I just want to show you guys some of the stuff inside this, because I thought this was just really weird. Apparently this is a pretty collectible book. Uh, the prices on this thing are not cheap, and you can't really find it anywhere. So, so I'm happy as a book dealer to always find something like this. So as you can see, here's the front and here's the back. So uh, I thought this was really interesting. As you can see here, it says the finest example of group writing since the King James Bible. So if you grew up in the 60s or the 70s, then this will probably be an entertaining read. Uh, some people have said it's like kind of like a must read, just a really funny book. As you can see, if you look inside, it's just supposed to be like a joke, kind of like uh, copying what a yearbook would look like. The writing in here is all basically, you know, it's, it's printed in there already. That's not someone who added that in after. So it's got like a blue marker type thing uh, as part of the print. And as you can see, it really does look just like it's, you know, a yearbook. And it's supposed to be from the 60s or the 70s. If you look in here, you can pretty much see it's basically a yearbook. Except the thing that it does is it's always got some sort of a joke. Uh, that would remind you of the times. Now, since I grew up in the in the '90s, this is you know long before my time. This is this is really more my parents' generation, so they would probably get a kick out of this. 1964 spring senior trip. As you can see here, there's like this ad here. It's just really supposed to be reminiscent of uh, of that era. It's got a whole bunch of stuff in here that's pretty silly. I don't exactly know. Uh, a lot of it is written in cursive and. I guess back then, uh, pretty much you had to write everything in cursive. It's got a whole bunch of silly articles in here also. It's got the different clubs, and it's got all these pictures uh, that are supposed to be from that era. So pretty much it's just a silly book. It's, it's really weird, I guess. It's some sort of a nostalgic type thing. It's a joke. Um, if this is the sort of thing that you're interested in, if you, maybe if you were, um, maybe if you like the magazine, uh, just check out the reviews on this thing. Uh, might be something that you're interested in. If you're interested, you want to learn more about it, I have a link in the description below where you could buy it. I figured I would share this because, again, I thought it was an interesting book. Uh, it doesn't really apply to my generation very well. But certainly, you know, if you're in your 50s or 60s or something, uh, you might you might get something out of this. So uh, you might want to check it out. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you've read it, of course, let me know what you think. Is it a good book? Uh, do you know anything about it? Would you recommend it to someone? Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you later.